Of the three days, day two was the coldest, with handlers and dogs waking up to a hard frost that was to last most of the day. Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to Thetford Forest and the IFSS European Championships. Many thanks to CSG, who are sponsoring this year's event. Nice looking rig. Disc brakes all round and suspension. Narrow tyres for the firm ground and an aerodynamically designed cover to cut down wind resistance. It looks the business. We're at the start for the eight, six and four dog teams. This gathering is for the start of the eight dog team race, the fastest race, with the power of eight dogs. Many are German pointer purebred or crossbred dogs and the other teams are made up of Huskies, the traditional Nordic breed. It's only when these hounds are running that their speed and power can be appreciated. The winner and gold medalist for the elite eight dog rig went to Patrick Jadson of Sweden with the combined time of 21 minutes and 42.94 seconds. Silver went to Wilhelm of Finland and bronze went to Gerard Bormann of Germany. There were two entries in the eight dog Nordic breed class, John Carter and Matthew Clark. Tobias Liesk ran his last race with just five dogs. He'd have preferred six. How did you get on today? It was fine, a little bit heavier, a bit yeah. muddy. Yeah, yeah. But it was a nice that. run. Yeah. Where, was the, where were the problems on the corners? Didn't have any at all, no, oh. perfect. Team of dogs doing all right, anyway. Yeah, they're all happy. Yeah. We dropped one today, he was a little bit lame after yesterday, but oh. all good now. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Knut Arn Holf from Norway. I get the feeling he's had a good run. Are you pleased with the run? I'm, I'm very pleased indeed. Yeah. The dogs were running just excellent and uh, it was uh, a very, very good race. Any it tricky parts on the course? Yes, yeah, <laughs> some of the turns are uh, a bit tricky, but uh, nevertheless, we really enjoyed it. We really did enjoy it, didn't we? Hey! Even through the mud, I can tell it's you. Uh, you can! <laughs> well, well, I'm uh, a bit dirty, but uh, that's a part of the game. The dogs were doing very well, very good dogs. and uh, Yeah, a good team of dogs. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I have been training them for a very, very long time, so it's uh, they are fit for the fight. On to the medals, and the Elite Six Dog Race Championship went to Michael Hogberg of Sweden, with a time of 22 minutes, and 32.17 seconds. Silver went to Fabio Stettler from Switzerland 
and bronze went to Javier Alamano of Spain. Mary Carter arrives home after pushing hard, always very competitive. John Carter said a few words about how their races have gone. Hi Pete. Yeah, how did it go John? Fantastic, yeah, we had a great run. Uh, I, I had a really good run with my eight dog and we both got puppies in a team and the puppies behaved really beautifully, which was great. Yeah. Nothing stressed them. Any different tactics today because of the weather? Uh, yes, yeah, I, I swapped one of my leaders. Um, to, to, I knew the, the little lighter bit would keep them going a little bit better up front, so I did that. But uh, Mary hasn't changed anything. The, the team was just as it went yesterday. She's on the line? Yeah, at the moment, yes. Yeah, she's one of the few teams that isn't slower than yesterday. So. No, I'm a little bit slower as well, yeah. It's just much stickier conditions, much stickier. And the dogs are pulling a lot more weight than me, so... <laughs> I think that was something about sticky conditions and weight. Peter Jones's team seemed like they were ready to do it again, showing no signs of fatigue. Nice, strong, uniform-looking team. Ems Hammersley. Today. today was much harder going than yesterday. Uh, they're used to harder packed stuff, so right. grass for them makes it a bit more dif difficult. But I think the sand uh, sort of absorbs a lot of the water, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, there's one bit out there that's really muddy and sticky, yeah. but most of it's, it's still really good condition considering the amount of rain we had last night. Yeah. Well, you've got your head cam on, so you'll be able to record it all, but it might be a bit blurred, mightn't it? Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't record yesterday, which is a shame, because I would have liked it to, but... Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks very much. a good time. Thank you. I hope she managed to get some decent footage. She wasn't quite as mud splattered, like the others. In the Nordic Six Dog Race, Gold and the European Championship went to Mary Carter of the United Kingdom with the fastest time of 25 minutes and 6.23 seconds. Silver went to Peter Jones of Great Britain and bronze went to Gareth Bower, making it three in a row for Great Britain. The four dog elite race and just a fleeting glimpse as two competitors snake by on this S bend. At the finish, as with all the races, the competitors arrive and are met by the team of vets headed by Beth Fitzgerald, checking their chip numbers to make sure the same dogs that started are the same ones that finished. They're also on the lookout for the general welfare of the dogs after each race. Dogs can go lame or get overexhausted. Conditions are ideal here. Good ground and low temperatures and a lot of healthy dogs. In the four dog rig Gold and the European Championship went to Kel Sorum of Norway with the fastest time of 17 minutes and 38.2 seconds. Silver went to Dagmar Nesnarova from the Czech Republic and bronze went to Jerry Menkak, also from the Czech Republic. Earlier in the event I met Morten Sorensen. Morten, can you tell me what your role is here at this event? 
I'm here as a doping control officer from IFSS. That means that uh, we're picking out some dogs that we're going to control for doping by taking urine samples from them. How long has this been taking place in this sport? Oh, I've been doing this uh, for the last five or six years, five years approximately. Is doping a problem in this sport? Of course not, and it is not, but it's always, uh, you have to be sure that you're feeding right, uh, so we've got, they don't get anything in that that can give you a positive result on the doping control. So you have to be very careful with what you're doing. And the same thing with medicine, that you ha are using things that are out of the body before you come to this competition. Thanks for you then, thank you. A serious subject that the IFSS have got their eyes on. Lucy van Swanenberg finishes after competing on her first run with a team of four Satanta Huskies, owned by John and Mary Carter. It's been a good weekend for Lucy, helping the vets and competing. She's hoping to be a vet, so she'll have gathered some valuable experience at this event. This is Karen Jones getting ready to set off with her team of four Huskies. It was a wet race for her and the others on this, the final day. The weather is in complete contrast to yesterday. Today's mushes are crouching very low to cut down wind resistance. At the finish, and always with a smile, Karen Jones sweeps in, no worse for wear. Oh, not, not quite so clean today, are we? <laughs> Do you have a good run? Once, yeah. once the off, yeah. no any tricky, any tricky parts of the course today? It's sticky today. It's muddy. Yeah. Some slippery corners out there as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun though. Dogs. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good weekend. Well, it must, have been, uh, it must have been quite quick. and You weren't very long going round. <laughs> no, it's, it seemed quicker today. I took my brakes off a bit as well. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Well, brakes off for Karen. And it was breaks off for these two, one of whom was Lucy van Swanenberg completing the last race with the Satanta dogs. In the Nordic four dog rig, gold in the European Championship went to Jaco Pitkane of Finland with a time of 90 minutes and 50.29 seconds. Silver went to Patrick Jadsson of Sweden and bronze went to Eriki Birkland of Finland. In the relay, which was the final race of this three-day event, the competitors are seen here lined up for a mass start. On completing their run, the Canicross athletes left their dogs at the finish and then ran the 100 yards or so to tag their own country competitor, ready and waiting, from the bike jaw team. Being against the clock, time was of the essence. This dog wanted a bit of fun on the way. It's not what you want, but dogs will be dogs. Most were just the opposite and hard to hold back. It was a final burst of energy for athletes who have run many miles over the three days. And being an onlooker from what I could see, they were giving it all they had got unrelentingly as those waiting to be tagged became fewer and fewer. Eventually, as more and more completed the race, the finish became a display of camaraderie and possibly the climax to their racing year. By any standards, this has been a great sporting event and one in which the dogs always do come first. Gold and the European Championship went to the Czech Republic. Silver went to Belgium and bronze to the United Kingdom. Ha! 
LAGI